Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dart, the animator, to read you another story. And I've got a book tonight about a very interesting animal. Do you know what a weasel is? A weasel is a funny little animal. We read about one reason recently when we read about the worry warts. Remember there was a weasel in that? But tonight I have a new book and it's called Never Tease a Weasel. Never tease a weasel. Hmm. You should never tease anybody, but you should especially never tease a weasel. And we're going to find out why when we get into this book. Teasing is not fun. And we're going to see that when we open this book. So you ready to get into another weasel book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we never tease a weasel. Written by Jean Condor Soleil. Illustrated by George Booth. You can knit a kitten mittens and perhaps that cat would purr. You could fit a fox with socks that exactly matched his fur. You could make a go to coat with a collar trimmed in mink or give a pig a wig in a dainty, dainty shade of pink. Oh, I like that pig with the wig. But never tease a weasel. This is very good advice. A weasel will not like it. And teasing isn't nice. Uh-oh, look at the little boy. He's blowing a whistle. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Trying to tease the weasel. You can make a riding habit for a rabbit if you choose. Or make a turkey perky with a pair of high-heeled shoes. Oh, that's silly. You can make a collie jolly with a red crocheted cravat. Or make a possum blossom in an Easter Sunday hat. Well, why would you put a big giant hat on a possum? Hmm. But never tease a weasel. Not even once or twice. A weasel will not like it, and teasing isn't nice. Uh-oh. Look at the kids. They're still teasing the weasel. You could build a mouse a house with a chimney made of bricks. You could give a dove some gloves and a set of walking sticks. But never tease a weasel. There. Now I've said it thrice, a weasel will not like it, and teasing isn't nice. Look, they're making all kind of noise to tease the weasel. Teasing isn't nice. You could give a mule a pool and some jaunty swimming trunks. <laughs> Look, the mule's going to jump in the big pool, and he's got on really, really big bathing suit. Send a case of Spanish lace to a pair of lady skunks? Wow, the skunks seem to like that, but I don't know why you would do that. You can give a fish a dish for her favorite seaweed stew. Send three frogs some sailing togs and a yachting cap or two. But never tease a weasel. Now I can't be more precise. A weasel will not like it, and teasing isn't nice. You could bake a Drake a cake for his special, bir special birthday treat. That's a big cake for one little Drake. You could braid a bug a rug to make his bug house neat. You could feed a spider cider or perhaps pink lemonade. Or give a moose some juice to sip on in the shade. <laughs> the spider and the moose look pretty happy. But never tease a weasel. Now remember what I've said. It's more fun to please a weasel and be friends with him instead. Now that's much better. Wow, that was a good book. They were teasing the weasels all the time. And you should never tease a weasel. But they learned that lesson because here it says, it's more fun to please a weasel and be friends with him instead. Yes, 
Don't tease weasels and don't tease people. Be friends with them instead. Why? Because a weasel will not like it. And teasing isn't nice. Teasing is not nice. You should never tease people. You should never tease a weasel. You should never tease a dog or a cat. It's not fun. It's not fun for them. And you shouldn't do that. You should be kind and nice to all animals and people. So whoever you meet tomorrow on the playground, make sure you're nice to them. Don't tease anybody. Don't make fun of people. Never tease your dogs and your cats. They don't like that. And all they are is somebody that wants to love you. So remember, teasing isn't nice, so don't do it. But what should you do? Well, right now you should get into bed. Get under those covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow when you're on the playground, playing with your friends, being kind, listening to your mom, your dad, and your teacher, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it, and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.